Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. I'm working in my large dilutions journal today on a single page spread. I'm going to be using some alcohol inks on the page today, so I'm starting off by adding some gloss gel medium to the page. I started off with one thin layer, dried it, and then decided that I would add another one, mostly because um, alcohol inks work usually on glossy surfaces that are non-porous and obviously the paper in the journal it is porous so I wanted to see if adding some gloss medium would actually make it work. So I'm just choosing my colours. I was lucky enough to get these for Christmas um, so it's very exciting. I don't really know a great deal about alcohol inks so I'm learning as I go along. Um, I'd seen Tim Holtz um, on one of his videos using a protractor with some Velcro and felt on to um, kind of make a tool to drag the al alcohol inks down the page. So I'm just selecting my colours. First of all, I used Ember, then Dijon, Mojito, Glacier, Vineyard and Fiesta. And as you can notice, I managed to um, stain my hand a lovely shade of green as well while I was doing it. So, um, and I forgot, it is usually a really good idea to wear gloves when you're using alcohol inks. And obviously you do need to have a well-ventilated room while you're using them as well. So it was kind of successful. Um, it was all right. Some colour on the background. It didn't activate as well as it does when you use Upo paper, but it was interesting to see that it, it did work in the journal with the gloss medium on the background. So then I just added a few dots of colours into this palette on the left that you can see, and I'm using the wrong end of a paintbrush and just adding some dots of colour here and there using the same colours that I used to swipe down the page. You'll notice I keep checking the other side. I'm just checking to see whether the colours have bled through the paper. And on the whole, they haven't. So um, whilst it might not, the alcohol inks don't perform the way that they do on Upo paper, you can still use them in your journal um, without it making a mess on the other side but I think maybe the gloss medium helped with that. So I'm just continuing to add some more dots of colour. And then I used my fan brush and I'm just dipping it in some isopropyl alcohol and just putting some splatters on the page. It's difficult to see on the video, but it did leave some little marks on the page, um, which were quite pretty. So I'm drying it with a hairdryer on a cool setting. Um, Tim Holtz says when you like your background you have to fix it before it carries on uh, reacting anymore. So then um, another one of my Christmas presents, I've been a, such a lucky girl, um, this stencil by Tracy Scott um, and I'm just using some white paint um, and a blending tool and I'm just going to see whether I can add acrylic paint over the top of the alcohol inks and yes you can. It works. Um, the only thing that I would say is that the background was quite sticky. Um, imagining this might be the alcohol inks that have made it sticky. So um, like I say, I'm still learning. And as you can see here, it just popped a little bit of the background off, but I managed to rescue it and I will stick that back in later. So I'm just pushing the background away a bit using the white paint and the blending tool through the stencil. This is such a pretty stencil. I love the way it the shapes all work together. So I'm just rescuing that naughty bit that you can see in the middle that's disappeared off the page, popping it back in place. Then I decided to try and get rid of the stickiness of the page. I would just add a really thin layer of clear gesso over the page and then giving it really good dry with my heat tool. So it's time for a face. So on just ordinary printer paper, I'm just sketching um, a face. I wanted the face to look happy, but it didn't really come out looking very happy. It's a bit of a sort of uh, not neither happy nor sad face. I don't very serious, but that's OK. It doesn't matter. Um, I think happy faces are quite difficult to draw. So I just go with it. And there she is. And then, as I do, I'm using the uh, Jane Davenport um, Licensed to Quill 
black ink pen to just sketch in the lines that I've sketch, sketched onto the page and uh, then I just scribble a bit onto the mat and using a brush with a little bit of water on use that to add some shadows onto the face around the nose and under the mouth and unfortunately the little shadow under her mouth makes her look like she's got a bit of a strange moustache going on <laughs> that wasn't the intention but never mind it's fine and then just cutting her out so I wanted my page to be about um, hope for the future because it's been such a funny year funny not in a good way funny in a pretty awful year for everybody across the world and there is hope on the horizon that 2021 will be a better year that the vaccine will be rolled out and in time we might be able to return to something like normal um, and that was what this page was kind of going to be about so these birds are like uh, doves Oh, they're meant to be like doves. I don't think they are doves, but <laughs> that's what they are on this page. They're doves. They're white. They're doves. Um, so I'm just cutting those out. That's a Dina Wakeley a Scribbly Bird stencil. No, not stencil. Beg your pardon. Stamp set. Um, so I'm stamping them with black archival ink, and then I'm just sticking them in place with a glue stick. And then I'm using the Jane Davenport palette pastels to add a little bit of colour to the cheeks. And then it's time for some words. I am using um, a Posca pen, a 5M Posca pen, um, to write my words here. Things will get better. Don't lose hope. I think it's been tough for everybody, hasn't it? And like especially with Christmas being so different especially for us in the UK I'm not sure about in other parts of the world what your Christmases have been like but we haven't been able to share it with loved ones as we might have wanted to um, but we've had to make the best of what we've got so you know there's always things to be thankful for and then I'm just writing the word hope on each of the birds uh, wings Some more dots. And there we have it. That's the final page with alcohol inks on the background. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.